Hello, this is astrologer coach Sonia Francis and today we're going to be talking about the spring equinox and the new moon in Aries. Now the spring equinox is on March 20th and it's also known as the vernal equinox and um, that's the time when the sun moves into zero degrees Aries and it's the new beginning of a new life cycle. So it's basically the ending, something's ending so the winter is ending in this case, right? And for those of us living in the southern hemisphere, uh, the summer is ending and um, uh, fall is beginning. Um, so it's really a time where we're when we're switching or we're shifting from one experience into the next. And so we're releasing the old the old programming or releasing old things from the past. We're releasing our past. And we're waking up to a new perspective. We're waking up to something new coming into our lives. And uh, it's like a fresh start. And the Aries energy and, and the zero degree Aries is very much about this freshness in our lives, this newness, this innocence, this needing to, uh, to jump into the world and creating, creating new goals, creating a new perspective, creating newness. And uh, this year, the spring equinox happens uh, it, where there's a lot of energy in Aries. So it's not just the sun in Aries, but it's also Mercury, uh, which is retrograde right now in Aries, and Uranus is in Aries as well. Um, I also have a video on Mercury retrograde if you want to watch that. Um, it talks a little bit more about that in detail, what that means. But um, to go back to the, the spring equinox, because there's a lot of planets in Aries right now, there's this sense that this, this new beginning really needs to be um, stepped up into and, and needs to feel very strong, uh, especially with Uranus there. Uranus is the, the planet of... Um, of, of progress and freedom and, and revolutions. So we're really needing to experience something different and something new that we haven't explored before. So um, what does that mean for the new moon? Now the new moon in two degrees of Aries happens right after the spring equinox and that's very powerful because that means that the moon also joins the Aries energy right after uh, right after the Sun has moved into Aries and um, so as this is happening in a very early degree on March 22nd um, everyone who has personal planets in either Aries Cancer Capricorn or Libra is definitely going to experience a very strong push into something new a very strong push into opening up to a new experience in your life. So check to see if you have personal planets in your chart in, in, in the early degree of those signs. Um, also, you know, with, with this energy, uh, with the new moon being connected to Mercury and to Uranus, there's also going to be the sense of we need to kind of uh, check our beliefs, we need to check our thinking, we need to check to see do we maybe want to create new thought patterns, do we maybe want to create a, a new way of uh, a new way of looking at things, you know. Um, also uh, Mars, the planet uh, that is connected to Aries, that is ruling uh, Aries, is retrograding right now in, uh, in Virgo. So the, there's this sense because it's retrograde and because Mar uh, Mercury and Mars are both retrograde right now there's this sense that there's a feminine energy that's very much connected to the spring equinox and to the new moon so we're really getting being asked by the universe to go within to reflect to see you know what is our body telling us what is our mind telling us what are these thoughts what are these feelings what are these sensations in our bodies what do we need to listen to, right? And uh, so because Aries is a very masculine sign in nature and because the, the planet that rules Aries is retrograde and has more of a feminine energy right now, we're really being asked with this new moon to balance our masculine and feminine energies. 
So for the men in the world, they're being really asked to, to tap more into their intuitive natures and to really connect to their heart energy and to check and see their inner, if they can connect to their inner passion, you know, what is really truthfully coming from their inner uh, sensibilities or from their inner, uh, you know, their inner needs that they have. For the women, it's really important for us to be really uh, bold and to be really courageous right now and to step into a more powerful experience of being a woman. You know, what does it mean to be a woman? How can we be more powerfully ourselves and really more truthfully in our in our own bodies, you know? Um, then the other thing with, with the Aries energy and, and it being connected to... Uh, to Uranus is that we're really in uncharted territory right now. You know, with this new moon, we're really stepping into a n very new experience. So we're really learning as we go. And so it's really important for us to take it one moment at a time and to really be very present to what is this newness? What is this new energy that's coming into our lives? And, you know, a lot of times when there's newness that enters our lives, when we don't know yet you know where we're going or when we're not completely familiar yet with what we're doing or we're not in the groove of something yet sometimes that can be scary right so when there's fear that comes up if there's fear that comes up for you right then just see if you can maybe turn that fear into excitement because fear and excitement are sort of like the same side of the same coin right the two different sides of the same coin so if you can turn your fear into excitement you could really uh, get really into, you know, moving into this new phase in your life. Uh, and really, you know, also with Aries, what comes with Aries as well is not just newness and freshness, but also, you know, what is that new goal? Where are we going? What can be this new initiative or what can be, you know, a new innovative place that we can explore for ourselves, a new goal for the whole world or for, for each of us individually speaking, right? So um, so have, you know, have goals and, and, and head towards them, you know. Aries is a very um, a strong energy in terms of, you know, wanting to move towards goals, wanting to experience um, a physical uh, a physical connection because it's very energetic in nature so connect to your body you know do something that helps you connect to your body so it could be exercise it could be uh, it could be going for walks you know it could be uh, you know just kind of exploring your body from an inner from an inner place you know just knowing what is your body telling you at, at, at any particular time um, so that's all connected to Aries now, um, as we're rebalancing the, the masculine and the feminine, we're also, um, you know, trying to kind of update our beliefs a little bit, you know, because, you know, maybe what used to be true in our lives may no longer apply, you know, as we're moving into a new phase uh, in our own personal evolution and also in, in terms of the evolution of the world and this earth, you know, maybe we need to adjust some of the beliefs that we've had in the past. Maybe they are no longer serving us. So it's just good to check and see what what is no longer serving us, what is no longer empowering us. And, um, you know, really try to um, embody uh, what you came here to do. You know, each one of us has has a job here. You know, each one of us has a, has a project or a... Uh, an inner an inner calling that that we all came here to explore in this lifetime so check and see if you can really get get your body to understand what that is and and dive into that uh, into that place um, and you know you can also through astrology astrology is a great tool for that too you know to really learn and see what did you come here to explore what was the energy like at the time of your birth when you came into this world the energy that was taking place at that moment in time shows us you know what it is that you wanted to achieve in this lifetime so again with astrology you can you can very easily tap into that 
Now, if you have any questions about the new moon, about the spring equinox, please feel free to ask. You can email me at sonja, S-O-N-J-A, at astrologercoach.com. And uh, if you want to uh, book a reading and get to understand a little bit better your own chart and what you came to explore, you can book a reading with me via Skype or phone. I'd be very happy to assist you. And um, if you want to check out my weekly blogs, I post weekly blogs every Sunday evening um, on my website at www. Uh, that was one W too many, I believe, but it's astrologercoach.com slash blog. And you can also subscribe to my weekly blogs right there on that page through FeedBurner. Uh, and then you get emails sent to you uh, with the weekly blogs every time I post something. All right. So uh, see, th these are all a lot of options to take advantage of. Have a fantastic new moon. Have a fantastic spring, spring, spring equinox, spring equinox, and be brave, be courageous, step up into who you came here to be, and we will talk soon. This is astrologer coach Sonia Francis. <laughs>